Okay, here we have another conversion. This one's a little bit more complex because it uh, has a complex unit of kilometers per hour. So we're going to set this up just like we did before. And we're going to end up with 80 kilometers. And remember, we did this as a fraction, but this time I'm just going to write the hours here. If you really want to write it over one, you can, but it's mostly to show where the units are. We want to get eventually to meters per second. I'm not going to do that in a single step. I'm going to break it down into pieces. It makes it easier to follow and less prone to error, I find. So since kilometers are on top, we're going to want to put kilometers on the bottom. And I see I want to end up in meters, and that's a fairly easy conversion to remember. We deal with this all the time. Kilometers are the bigger unit, and kilo was a prefix for a thousand. So we know that there's going to be a thousand meters in one kilometer. I canceled the kilometers out. Now I'm in meters per hour. But that's not what we want. We want meters per second. So I'm going to multiply by another conversion factor. In the last example, we had hours on top, and so we had to put it on bottom to cancel. This time, hours are on the bottom, so I have to write the hours on top and the minutes on the bottom this time to make the conversion work. Now, we know hours are bigger and that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So I can cancel out the hours here, and now I can see I'm in meters per minute, but that's still not where I want to be. I multiply by, again, one more conversion factor, putting minutes on top, seconds on the bottom. Minutes are larger, so one of those. There are 60 seconds in one minute, and I end up being able to cancel out the minutes. Checking across the top, I'm in meters. Checking across the bottom, I'm in seconds. To double check my math, I'm going to multiply across the top, and I get 80,000 with meters. And across the bottom, I end up with 3,600 and seconds. When I do the next step, that takes me 22.2 meters per second. Now, I go back to the original question, and I see it is one sig fig, so I really am going to stick with that. I'm going to take a look here if that influences it, but 2 is less than 5, so I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to have my 2 and then I'm going to write it just as 20 meters per second. If that 80 kilometers an hour happened to be 80 point, then we'd have two sig figs, and we could write it as 22. Or if it was 80.0 kilometers per hour, I would use all three sig figs. This is just something to be aware of. Final step is to circle my final answer, and there you have it.